Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. So, how was the course? Did you find it useful? Not really, no. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Sometimes the courses they send us on aren't always very relevant or the content can be out of date. It wasn't so much the course itself, it was the trainer. Hmm. I think some of these shore-based trainers can get out of touch with what life is really like at sea nowadays. Well, he was experienced enough, but he just never stopped talking. He didn't ask us any questions, even though we had a huge amount of experience between us. After a while, I just switched off and stopped listening. So, how was the course? Did you find it useful? Not really, no. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Sometimes the courses they send us on aren't always very relevant or the content can be out of date. It wasn't so much the course itself, it was the trainer. Hmm. I think some of these shore-based trainers can get out of touch with what life is really like at sea nowadays. Well, he was experienced enough, but he just never stopped talking. He didn't ask us any questions, even though we had a huge amount of experience between us. After a while, I just switched off and stopped listening. Right, Chief. We've just received your flight details. You're flying tomorrow by Lufthansa from London Heathrow to Frankfurt and then on to Mumbai. It's not an electronic ticket, OK? You need to pick up your tickets from the airline office in the city this afternoon. The agent will meet you in Mumbai airport and take you to your ship. OK, no problem. Do I need to pay for the tickets? No. The company has paid for them already. When you collect them, just tell them your name and take your passport with you. OK, that's fine. Right, Chief. We've just received your flight details. You're flying tomorrow by Lufthansa from London Heathrow to Frankfurt and then on to Mumbai. It's not an electronic ticket, OK? You need to pick up your tickets from the airline office in the city this afternoon. The agent will meet you in Mumbai airport and take you to your ship. OK, no problem. Do I need to pay for the tickets? No. The company has paid for them already. When you collect them, just tell them your name and take your passport with you. OK, that's fine. Morning. Anything to report? There's been a collision between two fishing boats, sir. It happened during the night about 120 nautical miles west of our present position. The Coast Guard has advised all shipping to stay clear of the area. Hmm. What about damage and casualties? No casualties, thank goodness, sir. But one of the vessels suffered bad hull damage, and rescue ships are hoping to tow her into port later today if the weather clears. Hello. I'd like to apply for a junior deck officer's position with your company. Okay. What grade is your certificate and where did you study? I graduated from the Maritime College last year and I have a junior watchkeeper's certificate. I've done two contracts as an AB, but during my last contract I received recommendations for promotion to third officer. So I'd like to apply for a junior officer's position, please. Okay. Please fill in this application form and then I'll need to make copies of all your documents. Okay, so I've seen the ship certificates, logbook and oil record book. Do you have a copy of the previous inspection report for me to look at? Yes, we just need to wait while the chief officer brings them in. In the meantime, I suggest you have a look at the crew certificates. Okay, so I've seen the ship certificates, logbook and oil record book. Do you have a copy of the previous inspection report for me to look at? 
Yes, we just need to wait while the chief officer brings them in. In the meantime, I suggest you have a look at the crew certificates. We have a problem. What's wrong? One of the exhaust ports on the starboard engine's overheating. Okay, what do you want to do? I'd like to shut down the starboard engine for a couple of hours so I can make some checks. Alright, let me check with the captain. I will get back to you in a few minutes. Thanks. What's the status of the clutch on the starboard windlass? Well, as you know, it was jumping out of gear for a while, but the crew have just finished the repair job. Ah, yes. I saw some spare parts being delivered to the ship at the last port of call. Yes, we couldn't do anything until we'd got them. But it's all sorted now. The engineer on watch noticed there was a smell of burning. Then he saw that smoke was coming from the grill area of the clutch guard, which activated a smoke detector positioned above the clutch. This set off the vessel's fire alarm. Two teams quickly arrived. They used dry powder and CO2 extinguishers in an attempt to put out the fire. But the fire was so intense and kept reigniting and continued to burn. So they stopped the second engine and they turned on the water fog firefighting system. It took a while, but finally they were able to put out the fire. The engineer on watch noticed there was a smell of burning. Then he saw that smoke was coming from the grill area of the clutch guard, which activated a smoke detector positioned above the clutch. This set off the vessel's fire alarm. Two teams quickly arrived. They used dry powder and CO2 extinguishers in an attempt to put out the fire. But the fire was so intense and kept reigniting and continued to burn. So they stopped the... Let me give you an example of a recent pirate attack. The ship had just crossed the South China Sea and was negotiating a busy strait around midnight. So it's possible the pirates boarded the ship unseen from one of the small vessels nearby. Anyway, five men entered the bridge and threatened the master. They were all carrying knives and they forced him to open the ship's safe. Well, the master had no choice, so the pirates were able to empty the safe and escape with $25,000 and some other valuables. I'm a bit worried about the cook. He's not drinking again, is he? I know he went through a difficult period after his wife left him and he suffered from depression, but he seems fine now. No, it's not that. But I think he could be smoking cannabis. What? Yeah, I'm sure I could smell it on him yesterday. <laughs> I know what that is. It's the herbal cigarettes he's smoking. What on earth is going on in here? There are nothing but hazards everywhere. What are all those wires doing under your bed? And is that an ashtray next to your bed? Yes, it is. And I can't believe that you actually have a toaster on top of your bed. You have some explaining to do. What on earth is going on in here? There are nothing but hazards everywhere. What are all those wires doing under your bed? And is that an ashtray next to your bed? Yes, it is. And I can't believe that you actually have a toaster on top of your bed. You've got a lot of different currencies there. What's that 50 note? That's a euro. And this 20 is a British pound note. Right. And what about that 100 note? That looks like a lot of money. <laughs> Not really. It's a Filipino peso. It's only worth a couple of dollars or so. You've got a lot of different currencies there. What's that 50 note? That's a euro. And this 20 is a British pound note. Right. And what about that 100 note? That looks like a lot of money. <laughs> Not really. It's a Filipino peso. It's only worth a couple of dollars or so.
I don't know what's going on in that galley. Yes, I don't think that cook is going to last long. Did you hear what happened this morning? No, what? Well, somehow the toaster caught fire, which set the alarms off. He wasn't around at the time. Then they found him in his cabin drinking whiskey. He said he was just having a small shot for his toothache. Well, I got him smoking on deck the other morning, and he just threw his cigarette butt onto the deck without even putting it out. I think they're replacing him at the next port. We had a right carry on with that pilot just now. Why? What happened? Well, as soon as he got on board, he ordered the master to get him a coffee. The master was furious. Not only that, but he then asked the second officer to go and get him something to eat as he was hungry. She was not pleased. Then, when he was leaving and climbing down the pilot ladder, he started texting on his mobile, and one of the ABs had to shout at him to put it away. What an idiot! I'm surprised he hasn't fallen into the water before now. We had a right carry on with that pilot just now. Why? What happened? Well, as soon as he got on board, he ordered the master to get him a coffee. The master was furious. Not only that, but he then asked the second officer to go and get him something to eat as he was hungry. She was not pleased. Then. When he was leaving and climbing down the pilot ladder, he started texting on his mobile, and one of the ABs had to shout at him to put it away. What an idiot! I'm surprised he hasn't fallen into the water before now. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya, probably Mombasa. So is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yep, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania. Then we'll hand him over to the authorities. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya, probably Mombasa. So is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yep, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania. Then we'll hand him over to the authorities. When did you last have an enclosed space drill? When did you last have an enclosed space drill? Why are they searching the vessel? Why are you so worried about the chief engineer? Why are you so worried about the chief engineer? Have they managed to find any stowaways? Have they managed to find any stowaways? Where's the man overboard? It says here that twenty-four point nine percent of seafarers in our company come from Ukraine. It says here that twenty-four point nine percent of seafarers in our company come from Ukraine. The length of these shipping containers is two point nine nine meters. 
The length of these shipping containers is 2.99 metres. There's a problem with the AC in my cabin. It's 41.2 degrees centigrade in there. There's a problem with the AC in my cabin. It's 41.2 degrees centigrade in there. Did you know that approximately 85% of marine pollution comes from the land? Did you know that approximately 85% of marine pollution comes from the land? I've just taken my temperature. It's 38.9 degrees centigrade.
Hi guys, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you.